Welcome to Paris. Just touched down this afternoon and thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a quick video on Antoine Dupont and is the French captain's World Cup over? We'll have to wait and see, but it's certainly not looking good. And this is massive news, regardless of who you support, regardless of whether it might even, in fact, help your team when it comes to a potential quarterfinal or semi-final. This is not good news if you're a rugby fan and it's not good news for the World Cup as a whole. So I thought, as I haven't done a video on it yet, I'll talk about it in this video. Drop your comments down below and also like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Let's get into it. So I actually don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up on the microphone here, but I got to my Airbnb kind of this evening and where I am in fairly central Paris, it's really lively outside. There's all sorts of bars. There was an Irish bar just up the street, which was full of green shirted fans ahead of the game tomorrow. I was so tempted to get involved, but it always looks... Um, a little bit lame when you're there on your own. I did dinner on my own table for one, but I thought pushing it, going for a pint of Guinness, um, was probably pushing it a little bit too far. So I'm back in the Airbnb. What it does mean is that I can do a video and we can talk about Antoine Dupont. And many of you, I'd imagine all of you watching this video would have seen it already. He has fractured his cheekbone by the looks of things. They're getting more assessments, whether it needs surgery, things like that. Happened in the game against Namibia yesterday. He limped off early on in the match. And his World Cup is in doubt. And he is the poster boy of the tournament. I think everyone knows that anyway, but certainly once you spend a bit of time here in France and you look at the billboards and you travel on the public transport and walk around the various cities, he is front and centre of a lot of those campaigns. And I think like with any players, if we look at Malcolm Marks for South Africa, if you look at Jack Van Portvliet for England, other teams will have other players, but when a player misses out on a World Cup, you do feel desperately sorry for them. And in particular, in this case, a home World Cup, as I say, the poster boy, I think a lot of people would argue that he's the best rugby player in the world. He's certainly in that conversation. And you kind of had a feeling that this was France's time. I'm not saying they were going to win the World Cup, but this was a, a brilliant opportunity to them for to do just that with the team that they've brought through over the last few years. And they could still win it, but Antoine Dupont is just such a key part of that that if he does miss out, you feel desperately sad for them. And as I say, I think, you know, most Irish and Springbok fans would, would still look at it and and say, you know, it's gutting. You want to see the best players in the world. But putting aside the fact that it could almost help out one of those teams in a quarter final, rugby is a sport outside of a couple of countries, of which South Africa is one, is constantly needing to get more attention in the mainstream media. It's certainly the case in England. And the sport needs more stars. And Antoine Dupont, I think, was one of those. In fact, you look at the game against Namibia before he went off. And what did we had? We had two cross-field kicks for try assists. He scored a try of his own. He was beating defenders. I, I saw a stat, actually, that in the last four years... In terms of tier one scrum halves that have beaten defenders, Dupont was on like 80 and the next nearest scrum half was on 30 or something like that. He is utterly, utterly ridiculous. And as I say, your heart breaks for him. In terms of the conversation of should he have played in that game, I can completely understand why France still played quite a lot of their frontline guys. They've got a little break now until their next match. So if, he, if you don't play your main guys, they've got... What's that going to be? Two weeks, a little bit more than a two week break. Perhaps it's better to have 50 minutes in the legs, which I think was the plan for DuPont. He got injured just before they were probably going to take him off anyway. Better to play those guys and then they're still going to have a good week or so off anyway with them not playing for, for a little while. He just came back to bite them, unfortunately. And you do look at then the spine of that French team. You don't have Untermac, you don't have DuPont. Uh, Marchand and Audrey are injured at the moment. It looks like they might be all right to come back in. But you've got some pretty key figures there that are missing out now. And it was something that I said on the channel right at the start of the World Cup. It's something that a lot of you would have spoken about and thought about already. Strength in depth is going to be key at this World Cup. And France have strength in depth, but it's being tested. And they also probably don't have the depth when you think about them losing Antoine Dupont. Is it Baptiste Coulieu, Maxime Lucu, two quite different style Scrum halves, Luku more of a kind of conservative, controlling, and Kuliu has a bit more zip to his game. Dupont was probably somewhere in the middle. So massive decisions for the French to make. Hopefully he can get back towards the end of the tournament and hope that France are still in it. But yeah, I think it was so exciting what he was bringing to this World Cup. It, it kind of felt like his moment to shine. And he'll still be around in four years' time. He might even still be around in eight years' time. But 
at a home World Cup, those are the moments that the very best players kind of make their mark. And I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I just felt that maybe this tournament was was going to be that for Antoine Dupont. So desperately sad for the French. Let's wait and see what happens. He's an incredible rugby player. Let's hope that he gets maybe some sort of incredible diagnosis and it's not as bad as we all fear. But it's not sounding good at the moment. And... I suppose as well, with all the talk we've had of head injuries and the way the game is being officiated, and there's a huge amount of work to do in that area, this is another example of why head injuries are trying to be eradicated from the game. Their potential to be pretty devastating is, is, I suppose this is a good example of that. But anyway, look, let me know what you think in the comments section. What does this do for France's hopes? Is it over if Antoine, Antoine Dupont is out? Or do you think they probably still have enough quality to, to get through either Ireland or South Africa? Which, by the way, I cannot wait for tomorrow here in Paris. Looking forward to it. 9pm French time at the Stade de France. Going to be at that game. So excited. So, so excited. I think it's going to be an absolute spectacle. I really, really do. So yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you make of all the news surrounding Antoine Dupont. Also, if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, then I really, really appreciate it. But I think I'm going to head to bed and look forward to tomorrow. I'll see you to the next one.